ever wonder where your poop ends up? We took a tour of the Riverhead Sewage Treatment Plant with Sewer District Superintendent Michael Reichel to find out. And how we deal with human waste is one of the most important environmental issues we face and one of the most expensive functions of running a town. Chances are your home or business has a private septic system. The system should be periodically cleaned out by a professional cesspool service. The cesspool service brings the waste to the Riverhead Sewage Treatment Plant on River Avenue. The Riverhead plant accepts cesspool waste from homes and businesses across the East End and Eastern Brookhaven. If your home or business is inside the Riverhead Sewer District, which encompasses most of downtown Riverhead, your wastewater gets to the sewage treatment plant by way of a network of underground pipes. There are actually two separate treatment plants at the town's facilities. One handles only cesspool waste, the other handles sewer district waste, plus the final stage of treatment for the liquid portion of treated cesspool waste. The treatment process is built around a few basic principles. First, separating solids from liquids. Second, getting all the water out of the solid waste. And third, removing nutrients and contaminants from the liquid waste so it can be discharged to the environment as safely as possible. The raw waste first passes through special screens that remove large items that can clog the plant's pumps. Wads of hair, rags, clumps of grease, tampon applicators, and things like that. The stuff that's removed is hauled off to a specially designated landfill out of state. The remainder goes into an aerated grit chamber where it's rotated slowly to settle out stone, sand, silt, and other objects that pass through the bar screen. The aeration keeps the organics in suspension. From there, it goes to equalization tanks. Equalization tanks are used in various locations in both plants in order to maintain an even flow of waste to the system around the clock. Keeping an even, consistent flow is critical to the correct operation of the treatment plants. Cesspool wastes then go to a flash mixer where they're hit with a coagulant that makes smaller solids stick together to form bigger solids which are heavier and settle to the bottom. That happens in the next step in the flocculation tank. From there, the waste is sent to two primary settling tanks where more solids sink to the bottom. The liquid waste is then hit with lime and pumped to a series of rotating biological clarifiers. These chambers have large rotating disks made of special media for bacteria growth. The bacteria eat the organic waste in the liquid, which sits in a six-foot deep pool. The disks rotate in and out of the liquid waste. The bacteria feed on the waste in the water as the disk rotates through it. After the liquid waste goes through the RBCs, it goes into the final settling tank where any remaining solid particles settle out. From there, the liquid waste goes to the head of the sewage treatment plant, where the process is essentially repeated, but this time the liquid, combined with the liquid portion of waste from the sewer district flow, flows through sequencing batch reactors, where impurities including nitrates, ammonia, and remaining solids are removed. Then, it's on to the plant's ultraviolet disinfection system, where ultraviolet rays change the DNA of bacteria so it cannot reproduce. The liquid waste, called effluent, goes to the plant's outfall pipe, where it's measured before it flows to the Peconic River. All the solids that are separated out along the way in both plants are combined and dewatered and digested by special bacteria, which eat the nutrients in the sludge. Then, it's pressed to squeeze out any remaining water and shipped to a specially permitted landfill. The Riverhead Sewage Treatment Plant is currently undergoing a $24 million upgrade. When the upgrade is completed, it will be finished next spring, the plant's liquid effluent will contain less than 4 milligrams per liter of nitrogen. That will be low enough to allow the reuse of the treated water for irrigation. Beginning next spring, some 350,000 to 400,000 gallons of treated water per day will be used to irrigate the county golf course adjacent to the treatment plant. Another 100,000 gallons per day will be used at the plant itself. The remainder of the treated water, another 350,000 to 400,000 gallons per day at current usage levels, will be discharged into the Peconic River. The plant is currently discharging about 800,000 gallons a day of treated wastewater into the river.